Uh, Barry Henson and Danny Manning, two uh, coaches for Bill Self who have moved on in the past 24 hours. And I think there's one thing to say about Bill Self. If you go to work for this man, you're going to become a head coach, and you'll probably become a head coach sooner than later because, I mean, whatever he does, I mean, if you work for Bill Self, that's where you're going. Lance Beeser is with us. You've been around this team all year long. Your thoughts, and, and I thought that Bill had some very interesting comments today about these two guys going. And I think Blair Kirkhoff of the Star might ask him the question. He said, is there a distraction here? And, and, you know, Bill said, simply not. I told him what to do. Yeah, Self has kind of downplayed this thing the whole time. But, Jack, as you know, here at the Final Four, there are all kinds of distractions. He has enough to focus on. A little bit of an added distraction, obviously, when two of your assistant coaches tell the team the day before you arrive here in New Orleans or the day that you do arrive here in New Orleans that they are leaving to go to a different program. Obviously, we found out today that it was official. Danny Manning will be going to Tulsa. We found out yesterday at Barry Hinson we've been moving on to Southern Illinois. Now, those announcements, not a complete shock to the players who found this out from the coaches themselves. Self admitted the timing here wasn't great, but he says he took some measures to limit the effect that these distractions might have on his team this week. You hope to have your assistants have an opportunity to to benefit from your team's success. And, you know, we've been fortunate. We had two guys get, get jobs yesterday. When I told those respective schools, hey, I'm, I'm fine with this, but let's do it now. I don't want the rumors and everybody being interviewed and all that stuff and have to lie and, and say, you know, you haven't taken a job. Hey, let's get it out of the way now. I didn't want to just take any job, you know, and I, I, I've been fortunate. I've had opportunities, but they weren't the right job. And uh, I'll just tell you, I told the interviewing committee, I told them, I told the chancellor, I said, I want to come home. And I want to come home. And what I meant by that is I really wanted to come back to the Missouri Valley Conference. Well, the players did not seem too distracted about those moves here today. They had a lot of else on their mind. There was a short practice, and then they had to meet the media. Swarms of national media converging on this team, and everybody wanted to talk about the last time that these two met. Back on December 10th, Kansas beat Ohio State 78-67. Ohio State forward Jared Sellinger did not play in that game. He is a huge part of what the Buckeyes do. Maybe that's why Kansas enters this game as two-and-a-half-point underdogs. No, it don't surprise us at all. We've been the underdogs all year long, so, and that's that's kind of motivating for us. You know, they're not the same team that we played against uh, way back when. You know, that was so long ago, um, and they've been on a roll ever since. We're a better team than we were in December, you know, back when we played Ohio State. And, I mean, Jerry didn't play, but, I mean, he's going to play on Saturday, and, uh, you know, we, we'll find out what the difference was. I don't know what the difference was December. Sellinger obviously going to make a huge difference in this game, but, Jack, he's not their best player right now. No. Deshaun Thomas has been the best player. All five of their starters averaging in double figures here in this tournament, but Deshaun Thomas, I believe, averaging near 22 points per game. He'll be matched up primarily with Thomas Robinson. I was talking with Tom Keegan on the way over here. Thomas, a very funny guy when he was talking to the media today, talking about playing against Thomas Robinson in the last game. Robinson struggled against him defensively, and he said, yeah, I figure they might switch that other guy on me who's real quick, you know, number 40. <laughs> Kevin Young. <laughs> He's talking about Kevin Young possibly being the tougher defensive matchup for him in this game. Hey, Kevin Young had all those rebounds in that North Carolina State game. Don't, don't count that. I don't out. count I think, out yeah, Kevin they, Young, but it's yeah. very interesting. Young, Young had a you great game this last time. What's really second interesting played. about Self today, he says, you, you talk about the influence he has on coaches. I told those coaches to go ahead and announce it today. Oh, yeah. To announce it because we don't want anybody lying to anybody during the uh, tournament. And Barry Hansen held court outside and kind of started pumping himself up for that Southern Illinois job and Self walked by. I saw the press all around Henson, just smiled, shook his head, walked in the locker room. He's very supportive of the All right, guys. you got a chance to get a beignet here. You okay. Get, get you a beignet, and we'll, we'll do. be back in about 10 or 15 minutes and talk Sounds to you great. a little bit later. All right, Lance Beeser.